So some of you have been asking how the Shoei GT Air 2 compares to the original Shoei GT Air on the road. And don't worry, we've been listening and here is that test. Shoei's top sports touring helmet, the GT Air, got a refresh with the Shoei GT Air 2. And this helmet has already proven to be at least as popular, if not more, as the original GT Air. But people still have questions. People are still wondering exactly how both helmets stack up on the road. So what we've done is we've given both to our rider. We've sent him on his way out onto the bike to collect some real world data and see how these two helmets actually stack up. So if you want to know more about the GTR 2 though, you can see a dedicated review of it on our YouTube channel, as well as comparisons and road tests with other helmets as well. So you'll also find a comparison with the original GT Air, where we've gone through every little difference, every little change to do with these two helmets. So make sure you check that out as well. So seeing as we have already reviewed the GT Air 2, we've already compared the two helmets in terms of the differences. I'm just going to quickly run through these and then we can jump straight into those tests. So the GT Air 2 comes in in terms of pricing at 600 US dollars, uh, 500 euros at the recommended retail price. The GT Air original will come in 50 euros, 50 US dollars respectively below the GT Air 2. That is difference number one. Then the shell is going to be the Advanced Integrated Matrix Fiberglass, the AIM shell from Shoei. Both will come with drop down sun visors. Nice and neat. This one as well, like that. And we do have Pinlock Anti Fog Lens Prepared Visors. You can see those there. We get the pin locks in the box. Uh, both shells will come in three different shell sizes, and we do have a weight of around 1.5 kilos per helmet. So when it comes to major changes between these helmets, we do have a few worth noticing. Uh, first of all, aerodynamics is slightly redesigned on the GTR 2. We have a longer spoiler as well. Big change, ventilation at the back. Uh, we have on the GTR original, adjustable vent on the GTR 2, it's always open. Plus uh, the other vents have also been reworked a little bit, so not, nothing too major. Uh, then the internal sun visor will drop down a little bit lower on the GTR 2. You can also lock it into different positions. And we have, of course, the center system. So GTA original has nothing on the side here. You can fit any kind of system onto it for communication. This one is specially prepared for center SRL2. Love it or hate it. Uh, it's got that so you can put a center system on. It's going to be more aerodynamic and so on. That's a few of the uh, advantages. Disadvantage is that you uh, can't as easily place another uh, third party system onto this helmet. So that's all the differences out of the way. We can jump into the riding tests. On the bike, you'll notice a couple sensors and this is the data we'll be comparing. On the left, you'll see a white unit. That is our temperature gauge inside the helmet. The sensor itself has been placed on top of our rider's head by the ventilation channels so that we can accurately compare the ventilation. Then in the middle up top, we have our decibel meter and that shows the noise isolation from inside the helmet. That sensor is placed between the liner and our rider's ear. Then on the right, we have wind speed, and in the middle is the speed and outside temperature on the dashboard. All right, so first up, we're gonna start with the original Shoei GT Air. This helmet has been around for a while, and it proved to be a high quality all round premium helmet. There is a reason that it has gotten a sequel. Now, this might be a little bit anticlimactic, but our rider didn't find anything wrong with the GT Air. Instead, they said it felt comfortable in terms of ventilation, stability, noise, and also with the inner liner. So nothing really out of the ordinary on the original, and our rider said he does understand why it has been such a popular helmet. So for our testing, we got our numbers with both helmets while traveling at 130 km per hour, and these were averages which were taken over long stretches of highway so we could have accurate results. Plus, our rider has tested both helmets on the same day, one after the other. So then, while going at 130 km per hour with a wind speed of around 125 km per hour and also an outside temperature of 27 degrees, we had some very interesting results. The original GT Air gave us a uh, temperature on the inside of the helmet of 27 degrees. And what that means is that it was on par with the outside temperature and that gives us very strong ventilation on the GT Air. For noise isolation, we had a result of around 100 decibels of sound and this places it in the pretty quiet category. So this was again, a very strong result for the original GT Air.
So now for the sequel, the Shui GT Air 2. While riding with this helmet, our rider had pretty similar feedback as with the original. Ventilation, noise isolation, the liner, stability, the visor, everything like that was very good quality and very comfortable, he said. When it came to differences, he didn't notice anything to do with the ventilation and the aerodynamics, but that was pretty interesting because these are two of the key improvements with the GT Air 2. Our rider did mention that noise isolation was noticeably better though on the GT Air 2, and this may be where those improvements to aerodynamics and ventilation have actually helped out. So the only real difference our rider found was in the noise isolation. So in our test for the GT Air 2, the conditions had changed slightly. Our rider's speed was still 130 km per hour, but wind speed had increased to 130 km per hour from 125 with the original GT Air and the temperature had fallen one degree to 26 degrees Celsius. So only a very, very small difference between the two tests. For ventilation, we had an almost even result with the GT Air, as there was only one degrees worth of difference between the inside and the outside temperature of the GT Air 2. Again, this showed very strong ventilation and was a strong result for the helmet. For noise isolation, our decibel meter registered approximately 97 decibels of sound. And this was again, a very strong result and confirmed what our rider felt that the noise isolation was better on the GT Air 2. So now that we've seen these tests, we of course have to compare our data, and to do that we have made a couple graphs for you guys. So for temperature, both helms performed equally well. There was a one degree difference between them, but that's pretty negligible difference and we're pretty comfortable in saying that the ventilation between the helmets is about the same. For noise isolation, we had a slightly different story though. The original GT Air registered 100 decibels of sound while the GT Air 2 registered 97. This is a three decibel difference, but remember that at this kind of high range, even three decibels is very noticeable while riding. And because the GT Air 2 had a slightly higher wind speed, we probably would have seen a slightly larger gap between these two helmets in terms of noise isolation as well. So now that you've seen how these helmets compare on the road, if you want to see more, you want to read up on the GTA 2, anything like that, then head over to championhelms.com. There you'll be able to find everything you need to know, and you can also check out the product bundles, because in the bundles you'll be able to find a free visor or a 100 euro discount on the Senna SRL2 for the GTA 2. All right, so that is it for this comparison between the original Shui GT Air and the GT Air 2. Two very strong sports touring helmets still going strong, and we did notice a whole lot of difference between them. Ventilation, stability, comfort was all very strong, about the same. Sound isolation, noise isolation was definitely better on the GT Air 2 though, which was uh, something that we had wanted to see. So that was a great result. Now guys, if you want to learn anything more about both these helmets, anything about helmets in general, you want to see more riding reviews, subscribe to us on YouTube. We're going to keep on putting this stuff out. So guys, thanks for watching. I'm Chris from Champion Helmets, and I'll see you all next time.